Dean, obviously a really exciting announcement, four more years on top of this one. Uh, how exciting is it to, to know that you're locked in at Melbourne United for these next four years? Yeah, it's amazing um, to have an extension of four years as a, as a professional coach. Um, it doesn't come around that often to, to be locked into such a great club for already been six years and, um, you know, another five years to, to run and, um, yeah, you know, for your family, for, um, you know, for the, what you can plan for, for the future of the club with the, with the roster and staff and, um, yeah, so many exciting things about being with the club long term. Yeah, Melbourne United's, you know, where I wanted my basketball to come full circle after, you know, being a Tiger back in the day and, and travelling around and getting the experience I did being in New Zealand and Sydney and different parts and Singapore and, and I wanted to come back here and I wanted to coach and um, I wanted to coach for, for as long as I can and so, um, you know, again, to have that opportunity to do that long term, you know, if, and see my kids finish school while I'm the head coach of this club, it's, you know, it's amazing. How exciting is it for you to be able to have that roadmap um, looking forward and, and build a team for the future while also competing for a championship now? You know, talking to a lot of other coaches around sports and asking how, how far their vision is forward and um, AFL clubs, NRL clubs, you know, they all are looking three to five year, you know, plans about how their list management works, but really focusing on the on the first couple of years. And I think this is a unique opportunity for us to to, to really, you know, plan and, and get deep into the scouting of, um, you know, certainly Victorian kids, what they're doing in college, you know, Australian kids, what they're doing, New Zealand kids, and really continue to really look at the, um, the best kids and, and how they're going to develop and how their careers are going to hopefully align with Melbourne United to see, see them with our roster as it moves forward. So I think there's a massive area of growth that we can have there as a club in preparing our roster. But we're about trying to win every year. It's not about trying to build a team uh, for three years down the track to win a championship. We're, we're trying to do it every year and challenge for a championship every year. And, and, and that's my focus, even though you have that long-term uh, commitment to the club. It's about each year as an individual one and, and trying to put the best team on the floor we can. You know, having Shay and, and CG locked in and, you know, Ariel return and, and now to add pieces like, you know, Joe Cool and Travis and Flynn Cameron and Tanner Krebs, you know, just exciting local talent that you, you want to, over these next five years, you can see them all, um, you know, being here long term, but also seeing that these guys have really bright futures and the opportunities to, to play for the Boomers, Tall Blacks, um, playing the NBA. Just, you know, super excited about the level of talent that we've been able to recruit and how we can combine them to, to really challenge for a championship this year.